What's going on guys, in this video I'm going to show you 5 presets, 5 transitions to help improve your gaming videos, take your videos to that next level. And yeah, this is really cool to use when you're editing, all links will be in the description below and I'm going to show you how to install them later on in the video. First up we got the Tyler Holland Exposure Transition Pack, man that's a lot of words. But here's a link to his self five page, you could just put $0.00. But if you're feeling generous, you could put your own price. You can get light transitions or dark transitions and also cool, very unique transitions that you don't really see anywhere else. All right, next up, we got the video milkshake transition film pack. These are the type of transitions you usually see in like travel films. But actually, they have a bunch of other packs as well. All you need to do is just put your name and your email address and you get access to all these packs right here so this is technically not even a top 5 list it's probably the top 13 list but the one i'm focusing on today is the transition pack so we got the zooms got the spins a whole bunch of cool looking motion transitions all right so the next one we got is the cinecom net transitions these as you can see in my videos i use these as well so these are the flashy techie gamer transitions perfect for that futuristic vibe it could get pretty chaotic but yeah it does look cool and i do use these in my videos and the next one we got is the music video preset pack from cotton and there's a whole bunch of good stuff in here now he has a dropbox like in the description right here and this is the kind of stuff you usually see in like rap videos he got the whip pants and the flashes and the trippy you know drugged out stuff <laughs> really no preset pack and the last one we got is the Cinecom again. It's the Earthquake Pack. This is for the violent shakes. You see these type of effects a lot used in the gaming videos. They might not use this specific pack, but they probably use the same effect in Premiere Pro, but just adjust it to different parameters. And again, all the free downloads in the description below. You can pay if you want, but that's optional. All of these have a free option. All right, so before we wrap up this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install these effects. It's really simple. You just go here. You just go here to the bottom left where you usually have your project panel. So you want to go to your effects panel. If you don't see your effects panel, you could go to you could go to window and then go check here, check effects. This window should pop up. Under presets, you're just gonna want to right click this and click import presets. And then now you just choose whatever preset that you want to install. All the downloads here will come in a PRF preset profile, Premiere Pro preset profile. So you just click on that file and then you just click open. So I'm gonna install the ultimate earthquake preset file. So I'm gonna click this, I'm gonna click open. And bam, easy as that, it will show up under your preset folder. As you can see, I have a lot of presets. And how you use these presets, you basically just drag it on. So if you want it, let's say I just want it to be part of a small section right here. I'll just make a cut and then I could just drag it on here. So you gotta play this. There you go. So either you could just place it directly on the clip or you can also, an option number two is you can just go onto your uh, project file right here, right click and then new item and adjustment layer. So just click okay. So yeah, what you can also do is just put it on the adjustment layer. So I could just do like this and you could drag it however long you want it. Let's just, let's just say I want it to be this long and I want to have it right on this clip. Let's go back to your effects. And then you just drag an effect right on the adjustment layer. So there you go. So now it will only affect the length of this adjustment layer right here. And another thing I want to point out is that you can always adjust the parameters yourself if you don't like something how it looks. Uh, usually like for effects like the shakes and stuff, if you want something uh, not as chaotic, you can always adjust the shutter angle right here. What this will do is so it'll lessen the blur lessen all the jitteriness so yeah technically you don't need to download any presets you could just do it yourself i mean everything is pretty much under here in video effects anything you could possibly need the presets are just another person just set it to how they liked it and they just put it as a preset file for you to download so everything's super simple for us everything's already been cut out so we just drag and drop and adjust to how we like so there you go those are five premiere pro presets <laughs> absolutely free no of charge that you can use in your videos right now and really easy to install and really easy to use so if you guys like the video give the video a like and that's it for me today i'll see you all in the next one 28